Hey guys, and welcome back to Absolute Love. Oh my god, it is the end of gods, as they say in the title. Anyway, we have just come back from Niflheim, the very, very, very cold place. There was a whole bunch of stuff being, like, uh, worked on in these areas, but that one seems to have disappeared. There's now just a little bit of a blood stain in the corner. I don't know why that's there. During our time, we've gone through and we found out these keys. We are trying to find a bunch of these crystals. Why do we need to find these crystals? I don't know, but maybe our friend Henrik Anderson can help us out there. We've got our special sight beyond sight The I assume to be some sort of psychic vision here, and we are trying our best to make our way through. Oh, by the way, my arm got ripped off uh, by some sort of weird half-human, half-spider demon thing, which I am obviously a little bit worried about running into again. I don't want, I just don't want it, you know. Ooh, what was that? Oh, okay, and then, and of course, there's a crazy robot somewhere. There's a crazy robot because everything starts with a crazy robot. It woke me up. I was on a, I was on a, a, a slab, slab of stone. And uh, it, it started poking at my eyes. I, I don't like that, but it gave me the ability to do this. So that's all good. But I think, I think somehow the robot is making all the horrible, horrible demon people. I don't know for definite, but I think so. Oh, we've also got like this. Oh, I was about to say this weird hacking ability, but you know, it turns out I don't need to be able to hack. That's cool. Let's turn my vision off and just take a little moment in the corner over here. I don't know if we're going in the right direction or not just been following the path that is laid out in front of me so i'm going to assume that is good hey do we got anything that we can why did that open oh please no i don't want to do that okay nothing to have a look in that in there nothing in there there's bound to be something somewhere here we go nice mythology research note four with dr henrik anderson and my lovely wife <laughs> dr sarah anderson the power of the hammer of the god is on a whole other level than anything discovered before. Power of the, the hammer, hammer of the god. The entire facility wow. is more stable than anything else of this strength. Even the power cells charged with it has a huge amount of power. We've decided to call the power Atrium after the creator of the hammer. And not H. only does Atrium have the attributes described by Henrik, it also has a lot of magical potential. I, uh, I don't know how to describe the phenomena scientifically, but Atrium has a terrifying effect on certain creatures from the myth that are affiliated with darkness. When it was wielded by Thor, it must have had an enormous destructive capacity. No wonder the gods are described as feared by everyone in the Nine Realms. All right, okay, so Thor. Thor is a thing. It turns out he's got Mjolnir. Is that Mjolnir? I can never say it right. Uh, that That's the thing. We're powering this entire base off it. Crazy. Where am I supposed to be going now? I'm, I'm going to stand up and walk around. I, I feel a little bit like I, uh, I've i wandered into a dead end here. Okay, that, that's fine. Let's press this and see if we've got anything to be shown to us with our wonderful psychic vision. Doesn't look like anything, anything in the bin. I, I would kind of like to get in the bin. There we go. We, we, get in, we can't get in the bin. All right, fair enough. I mean, I thought that would be a great way to uh, to hide from all the bad guys that are coming after me because, you, you know, they're terribly after me, right? Can we uh, break through this door? Have I literally only found one way in and out? Uh, okay. I, I was kind of expecting more. I guess we're going to have to find a way down there. There were stairs back this way, right? So let's go down the stairs and follow that giant beastie boy. Because why would we not be following people, right? Oh, so this is... Oh, okay, okay. So that is this area where we saw him. Okay, I thought it was a separate area that we were going to get into. Shows how much attention I paid on the first time through. Oh, it's a symbol. Oh, I thought that was a person. I was like, oh, what? Please, no more noise. I am a very jumpy boy. I don't want to. I don't want to. Don't want to hear the noise anymore. I'm just gonna go check this one over here. Quick, looks like it's locked anyway. I just wanted to double check that because you never know. You never want to miss anything that might help you in the charge against the evil spirits. The evil spirits. We're still not sure whether they're evil or not, or whether they're just like you know following out what they're doing. Can they contemplate that they are, like, causing this fear within myself? Well, what about that robot? Did that robot know what it was doing, or could it not contemplate uh, the the experience of others? That That's a question there. That is a, a cool question. Uh, I'm kind of moving with a bit of a undue haste down this way. I should probably slow down, because... 
We did see that giant thing run this way, and I'd rather not get jumped by it. I've got a feel. I've got a feeling it can't sneak up behind us. What did that say? Please keep lids closed. Someone has not been following orders here. That that type of behaviour is what puts us in these situations. What are these? They almost look like health packs out of um. What I'm looking for is Half Life. You know the ones on the side where you like go up and it's orange and you pull the lever and it gives you some health. Uh, anyway, I suppose that orange is armor. But, you know, what? Let's, let's move on. There's other games we don't need to talk about. Why is the thing shaking? Absolute research. Is this really where I need to be going? Like, oh, no, uh, why would I head towards the research? Pathology research. Note 5. Yeah. There are many gods from the myths which seem to have ties to the things we are retrieving from the other worlds. We have items from Odin, the Allfather. Oh, one eye. Son, Thor. The god of lightning. We have also found proof of the existence of the immortal Baldur and Freya, the goddess of fertility. I'd like to talk to her. Now we have some leads on Hel, the goddess of death. Mimir, the keeper of the well of wisdom. And. And Loki, the god of mischief. But that one worries me a bit. They all worry me. They all worry me. Alright, let's cycle the state. I don't know what it's going to do. Don't know what it's going to do. Oh, the doors are closing. Doors are do I Do I want to get out of here? Like, what would happen if I was to dive through the... Oh, it doesn't actually let me. Okay, fair enough. There is an invisible door here. Invisible wall, sorry. Okay, so we're going to go a little bit of a travel. Uh, it, it's super spooks, though. I am not really feeling this. Why? Why is this all shaky, though? That's some some bad shading going down there. All right, let's see what we can do around this way. So we got a new door. That's nice. Is this the only way we're allowed in and out? Is through this ridiculous one one like lift puzzle door thing? Is is this open? Can I can I press that cycle lock? We good? We done? What's gonna come out? Get ready with my Jagen Clipper. I think that's the name of it. Anything got it? Ooh, we got something bright. Let's go and have a look. It, it glows without the look of the look of the gods. Of the eye of the god. How did he put Odin's eye in my? F what? What is this? What is this? We got we got symbols. We got things to read. I feel like I'm gonna get jumped at any moment. This is it. This is this is where it all starts going down again, guys. Number three, out of chronological order. Ian Henrik has unearthed is just as astounding as astounding. mentioned in the previous notes made by Henrik. One thing I just had to note was a story depicting an enormous wall built to protect Asgard from the outside world. The yeah. story talks of the gods making a wager with a giant. The wager was that if the giant could finish the wall within a set amount of time, he could marry the goddess Freya. The one everyone wants. However, when the giant was almost finished, the gods cheated. And to add insult to injury, Thor crushed the giant's head with his hammer. Ah. This wall that is described in the Younger Edda doesn't seem to be a wall at all. But a... It's a statue capable of shutting out the roots of Yggdrasil and opening them to the one in control of it. So this is the key. I fear that this statue is exactly what we have here in the facility. Oh uh, man. I uh, I'm not I'm not sure guys. I don't know. Alright, where are we going to so we came from Northwing, look. Right? Is that South Wing? Sorry, South Wing. That's that's North Wing over there, right? Uh, I noticed East Wing down there, and I assume West Wing, yeah, is over that way. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to just kind of sneak around and have a look, press some buttons, see what we can do here. Uh, call cool. Elevator. I, uh, I'm not going to change floors yet. Okay, no one's there. That's fine. That's cool. I was a little bit worried that we were actually just about to let loose uh, a bad guy, some sort of demon from the lower levels. Uh, this looks like something we can break into. Uh, we, so we can try and do that, but it's like, nah, 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 nah. But do you see the spinning circle? Oh, man, that is spinning fast. Okay, okay. Now, we can do this. It's slowed down a lot. Turns out that after the first time, it slows right down, which, you know, I'm about, I'm about, I'm <laughs> all about making the game easier for someone, but I wish it'd give me a second go at the full speed. Just needed to get my eye in and see where it was at, right? 
Okay, doing this F to see if we've got anything back here. There's uh, all sorts of stuff going on up top. Um, really dark back here. Much darker than everywhere else, but I don't see anything to interact with. Running through and pressing E doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so it's just a little bit of a dead... Ah, uh, ventilation. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Please don't make me go in there. I want to do it. It's a bad guy of some description. I, I, like, I'm, I'm ex I don't even know if this is the way to go. I should have explored out there a little more. All right, let's go have a look. Oh, no, that's not what I want to fire. What's my charge at now? Oh, man. Oh, man. Hello? He hello? Okay. Looks like we're... I'm terrified. Terrified. All right, we've got a collectible. All about the collect. Let's recharge my vision up a little bit. Maybe jump into the corner here and have a little hide. Okay, vision recharge. Let's uh, let's try and see how we can get out of here. There's an unlock door button. I assume that's what the, the the monkey used to get out. Ready? Terrified. Terrified. Is that a landmine? Is that a lamp? Don't open like that on me. Okay, so we're back over. All right, this is the door that we locked and now is unlocked. I'm except expecting that to just be a collect run. Okay. What is that down there? Do you see him? Do you see him? Okay. What The thing is, once we know about them, they're not quite as terrifying as when you're just walking around, but you're like, what is that? Uh, do we walk up and touch it? Do we walk up and touch it? I think we might. Might. Over and have a look. I'm not I'm not overly keen about walking through the lights. But oh, I thought that was on any... Oh, wow. It's making me feel weird, guys. It's making me feel weird. I thought maybe that I had my spirit vision on the way and it was like really bad, but like, wow, talk about the bads. Ooh, that's, gave me a bit of a headache walking through there. Not like really, but you know. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go back the other way. Wow, look at that, that is crazy. Okay, let's go back this way. There was a little dude that we could see over there. I wanna see whether we're gonna find anything crazy over that way. I'm not sure which, like, are we supposed to go through the wing? We've not. I don't know. I don't know. What is this? This is a number three. I don't think we've got a number three. We do this, though. It's got a spin. Um, no, come on. We get we get to do this, right? Am I out of charge? Am I, am I out of charge? I am out of charge. Let's use these four of ten that I've got here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, let's try it again, then. Whoop. Ah. And then it slows right down. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, let's go and have a look. What have we got here? Seems like there's a thing over there, but I'm not going to go immediately. What was that? <laughs> I'm not going to go immediately diving at it. I might. I might. I might. I'm just, I just want to check the corners of the room. Look at this little engineering table over here. we got a thing. Hey, researcher Yang, no 12. Hey, Yang. I had heard much about Borg Corp before attending the first interviews. Had you? Uh, most of it mixed, as is usually the case of enterprises built around the ideas of single, eccentric individuals. But <laughs> the way people spoke about it, it sounded more like some idealistic crusade rather than a, a scientific excursion. Well, that's how they sell people in this stuff. That's why I took the job, to begin with. Me? To what for you? the pseudoscience proposed by others working on the logical puzzle that is the Absolov. <laughs> From the beginning, I have treated this as a natural phenomena, and I will not simply believe. Yeah, time, but seriously. We'll find an explanation for the Absolov's existence. By then, I hope the fool spouting paganistic nonsense will be a long way from here. I like this guy's attitude. I mean, it exists in the world. There's no way that it can't be a natural example, right? Okay, can we get in? Oh, look. Oh, it's a little ballerina dancing. Can we? Like, seriously, I'd like to, to take that with me. I've got a feeling it would end up being very beneficial. Nothing here to be seen on the control panel, though. Okay, let's get out of here and see what else we've got around. I mean, I assume this is the major research station. Where did that guy go? Uh, you know, the one with the face. Uh, this is a seven. Well, yeah, we, we ain't going to get him past the seven. Look, there he is. Okay, I knew he was around somewhere. What have we got over here? What are you? We've got um, a vent that doesn't go anywhere. No, okay. That was worth a check, I suppose. This one also doesn't go anywhere. Um, pick my face out this way. Seems to be just kind of doing a patrol. You... You know we gotta go through here, right? There, there's no way that that's not a thing. Oh, that's uh, 
that's a light. Okay. And uh, look at look at it all. Look. Oh, all right. Let's go out the back door here. See if well, even if we can go out the back door, I've got a feeling this is actually final, final level, if you will. But we'll go and poke it and see what we can do. Nope, nothing to poke at here. All right, cool. This looks uh better lit than the other panels. I'm not sure if that actually means something or if it's just got a light underneath it. Okay, creep. That's not creepy enough. Okay. Um, don't know what we're gonna do about him. He's definitely coming this way. I think he's going to go over that way. So I'm just going to kind of hide in this corner over here and hope that he has no idea that I'm here. You can hear him. Hear him. Come on, buddy. Keep moving. You're obviously upset about something, and we get that. But we don't need you over here, right? Maybe if you could express a bit more than just upset. You could express a bit more than just upset then uh, maybe we'd have room to uh, try and work stuff out for you. But, yeah. but no. Okay, all right, looking looking good, looking good. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a number over here, but nowhere is a number written down. Okay, that's fine. We'll figure out the code at some point, some way. Is that, what's, what's that over there? There's like some numbers and some stuff written on the side. Okay, uh, we've got a door we can just kind of wave our arm through hi anyone in here uh looks like we've got oh 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 your face we we'll turn that off do we yeah we can't even see that oh that's spooky that's spooky i'm still not sure whether i'm supposed to be walking around with this whole thing on all the time or not definitely seems to help if i do we've had lots of difficulties maneuvering the other eight worlds of Ictosil to find the artifacts that we need yeah that is until now Henrik found out that magical beings can see on a spectrum that is invisible to mere mortals. And with artifacts and knowledge brought home from Vanaheim, Henrik has managed to infuse this magic into an augmented reality implant, making the spectrum visible to the user. And this is an amazing leap forward to unlock the secrets that these worlds are holding from us. Oh, that's pretty cool. An AR overlay, you say. Is that what's going on here? Is this like an augmented reality look? It could well be. It could well be. Also, why can't I take these with me? These look like these would help a lot. I bet there's all sorts of anti-anxiety like anxiety medicine there. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I am feeling the anxieties. Okay, let's get out of here. Where is the crazy boy? There he is. He's all the way over there. All right, we don't have to worry about that. I do... The West Wing looks crazy. Uh, I do want to see if there's any other doors over this way. Spending the entire episode just exploring this top look. By the look of it. Top floor. Okay, let's try and get this. That was some uh, some wind-up time. Oh, I'm out of power. I'm out of power. No problem. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it is going to become a problem at some point. I wonder if we can find a charge point. Oh, come off it. That was close enough, surely. I'm not sure if that actually just took pity on me in the end there. It was like, ah, uh, you tried three times. Let's just let you in. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Look, people's, people's coats are still there and everything. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I, I assume I can go and get myself my first eat and drink. I woke up in this brand new world and uh, no, no. Okay, I'm not allowed to interact with anything. That's kind of scary. Oh, hey, there's like... What was that noise? Ah, here's a thing. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Collectibles are good. I'm all about collectibles. But where where is the thing to interact with in here? There's no person, no body. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Is this door also locked? Am I gonna that that was a total waste. That was a total waste. Oh. You see that? That's the last of my powers. Um I should have just gone out through that door over here, right? Let's let's go let's go do that. Let's let's just ignore let's just ignore the the, the skill test. I'm obviously not skilled enough to do it first time. I thought I was skilled enough to do it second time, but no. But no. All right, can I go down here? Let's go find out what's at the bottom here. We've been rolling for 20 minutes, so I'm just going to have a bit of a walk around and hopefully find some sort of like save stone somewhere. That would be helpful. That would be very helpful. Okay, uh, with the vision rolling or not, there is no lock picking device there. There's the safe stone, beautiful. So let's just carry on exploring around and see what we can find. Is that in there, is it? Okay. Did I, did I actually even, did I actually even? Okay, so I don't have the way of cracking into that. How is that not close enough? Okay. 
Okay. I am horrifically out of power. Okay, that's... That's bad, actually. That's super bad. And that's where I wanted to get. Mmm, ever get the feeling that you should have just followed the markers that the game had set out for you? I sure do. Okay, taking a moment to, uh, to just kind of rebuild my site. I realised that I was, didn't have much and, uh, you know, thought maybe it would be a good idea. I would particularly like to have uh, broken into here, used my ten powers to get into that rather than walk around and, you know, do silly things. If I just kind of run quick, I'm not sure what's going to happen if we get caught now. Uh, where I would respawn at. That would make me very sad, actually. That would make me very sad. I'm going to do a quick, perhaps, off-camera search around here to see if there's anything we can find. Like, I, I don't know about this off-camera, because we've got this over here. There are definitely things to be seen. Definitely things to be seen. In fact, if we uh, come out here, there are things like this. Look, look at this. We've got some numbers and some letters and, like, this weird symbol here. Okay, that is that is super crazy. Super crazy. I think we may have found the extent of what we're doing here. Eight. Eight. All right, we're not going to be breaking in there, and I can't see it anyway. I'm looking for a recharge point, if you guys couldn't, couldn't tell. Couldn't tell. I'm looking for a recharge point. I'm hoping that there is at least one relatively close by. Uh, I've kind of thrown all caution to the wind now. <laughs> Just going to go and touch all the walls that I can around here and then one of these crazy locked doors all right lots of runes that's fine that's fine okay other than what we saw nothing crazy to report let's uh let's go through here and maybe we'll find another soul saving place somewhere calling the elevator hey calling the elevator i'm not sure where it's going to be taking me yeah uh oh, wait hold on hold on i'm supposed to be yeah. Okay, cool. And this is telling me waste disposal. I mean, that seems like a bad plan. We've got the clearance for all of this. Surface access. Surface access. I would like to see the surface. Oh, is that supposed to be my torch? Look, okay. It's not, like, shining off of anything. Maybe it is the reflection of that. Maybe. But, yeah, that's 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 a bit weird. Yeah, I've, I have no idea what the surface is going to end up uh, showing us here. I've got a feeling it's a bad. I've got a feeling it's a bad. There's uh, some power down there, though, so I might go might go and grab those. That seems like a great idea. Let's go do that. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then this guy over here. Everyone took it. The blood that came through the roots, they just drank it. What? Why would they do that? No regard to their own well-being, or ethics, or reason. Who, who, who is this? this note, my resignation. I'm heading to the surface right away before this madness spirals completely out of control. You are a smart man. That that guy probably that that's probably the most like sensical report I've heard. They're like, oh my god, what are these guys doing? I can't handle this. I'm out. I mean, that's that's definitely the way to do it, right? That that is the way I would like to do it. Okay, so we found a note and we found some power. I'm not going to recharge until we're stood outside the door with that save crystal behind it. I think that would work out well. Soul stone, sorry, not save crystal. Okay, so we can't do Absolov research for because we don't have the uh, the power for that. Yeah, no, okay. So it says no. Uh, so let's try Absolov research two. I mean, that's that's where we were at, right? That's the second floor. Uh, let, let's go back to one, because that's the, the one with the door that we want to get into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks very much for letting me know. That, um, that lift is quite long. Alright, we're going to be able to do that. Is there a way for me to save, like, can I save scum my way through this situation? That would be really handy. Okay, let, let's try this. We press the F. Ah, oh, great. Phone calls. All right, what was I saying? Right, we, that, that lift, it took a long time. And I need to try and bust my way into here. I think I've already used the power, so we're going to try and see if we can do that. That one's going much slower where I've already messed with it. So let's go around there and see if we can't break in over that side. Because, you know, the slower, slower the spin, the easier the job, right? Yeah, look at that. I should be able to get just, like, straight into this. Bam. Okay, there we go. Much much easier and with that i'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time we're going to go find out what is going on down in the waste disposal i mean like why does a place like this need a waste disposal floor not a chute not a, uh, an area not like a little garbage dump space an entire floor 
for waste disposal. I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.